the negative sentiment on South Africa has been significantly overblown. The signing of an accord with all of our unions, that included uh, new unions, I think was a milestone that the industry has followed in subsequent uh, engagements. Everybody was very constructive. The great frustration is the share price. The right things are being done. We're in the right dialogues and I'm still immensely confident and optimistic about the future of South Africa. And even from the point of view of the minister engaging and taking leadership when she saw an issue two days ago at a platinum operation and, and leading an industry conversation to bring two unions together. That's the sort of leadership we need to see, the world needs to see, that we are a good place to invest and that we do have a great future. And on the technology front, we believe we're on the cusp of probably the most significant change in, my, in the application of mining technologies that, have been, that we've seen for 100 years. You took all your members of your board down to, to see the new technology. It seems to uh, bring out the gold. What people don't realise, for every tonne of ore-bearing material, we mine another two tonnes of waste rock because we have to get people into these areas to mine. So physically we need to mine much, uh, a much higher uh, horizon. Um, with these sorts of technologies, we only take the gold-bearing rock, so we're, we're moving a third the material to get the same amount of production. So from an efficiency point of view, it's a massive change. And from an efficiency point of view, it's also very important in making sure we're long-term competitive because mining from 5,000 metres is tough in any, using any sorts of technology. So it also has to be fundamentally more efficient as well for us to, to create a 30 to 50 year life. The technology involves trying to make sure or not having people put in a situation where they're exposed to seismic activity in stope areas at three to four thousand metres. Um, so it's quite radical, uh, but the actual technology itself is quite proven. So it's actually drilling horizontal holes on the reef structures, which is the, the physical uh, horizons that contain the gold. Uh, and so we use a drill instead of putting people in those areas. Now, these technologies still need people and the transition to this sort of thing, if it's successful, would take, say, 10 years. But it's so important in terms of safety and long-term productivity and in the long term, it will actually create more jobs. But in the short term, it does present some challenges. But again, we would look at our natural attrition and, and work with people to, to change the operation over time so that we don't create any major shocks in terms of employment. The news has been dominated by uh, the loss of uh, working time in South Africa with the strikes. What people need to understand is whenever there's a strike, it's not just the margin on the ounces that get lost. You get a close to a double whammy, you lose your production, and you also incur quite a lot of standing costs. The impact of the strike in South Africa, which eroded post-tax $208 million. The signing of an accord with all of our unions, that included uh, new unions, I think was a milestone that the industry has followed in subsequent uh, engagements. There have been some very positive developments since those uh, issues in December, uh, including uh, a joint uh, process that we've been going through with uh, the Minister, um, other industry colleagues, the Chamber of Mines. I'm hopeful that those processes will continue to yield the right sort of results. Now, delivery against our objectives has been the best in the industry over the last five years. The key objective here is value on lock. Anglo Gold Ashanti is so far ahead of the game, it's a shame that we're seeing a share price that we're seeing. If we have a situation in South Africa where you know, the share price is just not reflecting what companies are doing. In early 2011, we were the best performing share in the global gold industry, reflecting our improvement in earnings and safety and right, right across a number of metrics. We've continued to deliver at a significant level, yet we've seen the share price uh, decline against our peers as we've had conversations around silicosis, nationalisation, the safety stoppages and then um, the strikes. In my view, the fundamentals are sound in South Africa we're getting back to the right conversations and I think we're becoming much more sensitive about headlines and people trying one-upmanship. So if we come together, we work together and manage the perception of how we're dealing with the issues, I think it'll make a big difference and I think it'll get us back on track for people to be comfortable investing in the country in the future and that's what we want to see. That frustration is shared with our fellow South African uh, based uh, companies in Harmony and Goldfields. We've all performed about the same. We've all, instead of outperforming, have underperformed our, our industry peers.